This poem was commissioned as part of Poetry as Commemoration. It takes as its subject an object held in the archives at Trinity, pleadings made to the Law Exchequer 1773, uh, which was a book uh, once that was damaged uh, irreparably at the start of the Civil War. What interested me about this object um, is how it's damaged in such a way that it comes to resemble, to me, uh, a man's head. And there's something interesting about that, I think, as a, as a way that violence um, or harm uh, causes to blend material um, and history and personhood um, and humanity. Um, all these things become uh, bound up in, in this strangely disfigured object. It also takes its title from, from Yeats. The Head of a Man. Then among the final years of the horse, cannon are horse-drawn along the river into position at the edge of June. The day is hot, the capels are abroad. So azimuths are set, trajectories approximated. An 18-pounder bombards the four courts and its garrison. Public records reign over the Liffey. What this thing is, is too massive to reign. Pleadings made to the Law Exchequer, 1773. A few fragments whose outer edges are ash forever, whose centre has been fused into new species of vellum and ink. Where intimate skin wizened in the heat, denatured to flame-dark carbon, gnarled bark, here emerges the gurn of a man's face, a double pout of parchment rolled and pursed, a severe pointed nose, the papery wasp's nest complexion of the mummified, a distended and eyeless head still stunned by the shock of its disturbance, a cheek tattooed with all that remains legible from the quill of the king's remembrancer. What occupies his thoughts is gone for good. The ordinary, tedious disputes landlord and tenant farmer brought before nodding justices and their magistrates. Libel and taxes, the proper keeping of geese or the right to drive one's cattle, the nearly inconsequential legends by which names outlive their custodians. Even Noah, the world's first archivist, drunk on the wine of the greenest vineyards, must have wept in his tent some afternoons for every neighbour he had forsaken. The people tending to their earthly sins, who saw but didn't recognise history vanishing into the flood on cubits of gopher wood and faith bleeding and straw. Is it the ark and all that survived it that constitutes our civilization? or the sailed away from collateral, innumerable under the water. After the ark, the first thing Noah did was make an altar and burnt offerings, animals unknowable to language, some unique beasts of whom there once were two.